Welcome back to another episode of Real Life Fishing. Just hanging out in the workshop today. No power tools, so bourbon is allowed. And today we've got uh, Kentucky Spirit Single Barrel by Wild Turkey. Good stuff. If you've not tried it and you like bourbon, pick yourself up a bottle. So what are we going to be doing today? Today, we're going to be putting some epoxy on some musky baits that uh, I've been working on. So... For this, we're using uh, Envirotex Light, commonly referred to as Etex Light by lure builders. Uh, probably other folks as well, but um, I don't build bar tops, so I don't know what they call it. But uh, in any event, uh, Envirotex Light, um, I've already discarded the box, unfortunately, but the box is kind of a light uh, purple color. Uh, these are 16 ounce bottles. For mixing this stuff now, it's very important. You want to mix it one-to-one -one, uh, resin and hardener, right? So how do you do that? There's, there's a couple different ways. Uh, some guys will weigh it, but I haven't been able to find an accurate density for either of those, and I haven't experimented with it yet to figure it out and, and whatever. But um, So I'm, I'm not going to weigh it. I'm going to go by volume, which is what the manufacturer tells you to do. So how do you accurately do that? Um, you can use... Syringes, of course, if you've got syringes handy. I just use these little mixing cups here. Um, here you go, there's the, the cup. Uh, you can see that it's graduated in uh, cc's or milliliters. Um, so you just pour the required amount into that cup and then mix them up. And for that I use, they look like sucker sticks, but they're plastic, not paper. Uh, so I just mix it up with these. But um, then we, after that's mixed, we apply it to the baits. And to apply it to the baits, I just use these plastic uh, rod building brushes here. Um, I've actually ordered some lesser expensive brushes from Harbor Freight on the recommendation of uh, another YouTuber. So we'll see how those work out. Uh, these are like 25 bucks a hundred. Uh, the ones I ordered from Harbor Freight are uh, $2.49 for 36 so considerably less expensive. Those are half-inch brushes, which should also help to speed the process up. But uh, we'll see how those work out. So you can also mix in paper or plastic cups. You can mix your epoxy. Uh, very important thing to note, though, you do not want any wax. Right? Some, some paper cups have a, a wax coating on the inside. Right, so the, the easiest way to tell if the cups that you're using are safe are fill them with hot water, like boiling hot water. And if anything floats to the surface in that water, you can't use those cups. Uh, these are just cheap little uh, three ounce bath cups um, from Sam's Club. Real cheap, you get you know, 660 of them in a, in a thing for a few dollars. Um, so when I need large amounts of epoxy, more than will fit in one of these little cups, right? Because these these little cups, their max graduation is 30 cc. Uh, so if I do 30 cc of resin in one cup and then 30 cc of hardener in another cup, I'll just pour them both into one of these and, and mix it in here. This is what we're gonna be putting the lures on once they're dry. Uh, this is a drying rack that uh, I just built yesterday, as a matter of fact. It's just a barbecue rotisserie and a bunch of spring clamps from the local hardware store and some one by two pine board and a few two by fours. Uh, it took me a few hours to put it together, but um, I'm not quite pleased with it, but it'll, it'll do what I need it to do for now. So um, I've got five lures that I've got to get epoxied. Tuesday night, um, I'm meeting a guy and we're going to test lures, uh, lure builder from the area. We're gonna test lures by throwing them in an indoor swimming pool Tuesday evening. So I will be sure to bring my camera along so that uh, you guys can experience that fun. So for now, we'll take a break. I'm going to get some of this epoxy mixed up and we'll be right back. Okay, so several things that are ridiculously important prior to putting epoxy onto your lures. First, gloves. Do not touch your lures with your bare hands. The oils from your hands will get onto the baits and those oils will cause fish eyes in the epoxy. So you don't ever want to touch your baits barehanded. And that goes for during painting as well. 
in between paint coats or prior to painting, after you prime them, you don't want to touch them with your hands. Oils, bad. Your skin naturally produces oils. So that's the first thing. Now we've got our gloves on, we can grab our baits, right? These are the baits we're going to be working with. Next thing that's important, we don't want any surface contaminants on here, be it dust or anything else, right? So I've been doing a lot of woodwork in the shop. Uh, you know, I built that lure turner and I've been shaping and sanding some other blanks to get ready to produce more baits. Um, so first thing that we need to worry about is surface contaminants. We need to get all of those off there, right? So for that, we're gonna use a heat gun. Could use an airbrush to do this, but uh, a heat gun ensures that you're not going to get any um, oil or solvent or anything else that might be in the gun or moisture from the air lines. Um, you want to keep this surface clean and dry, remember? So heat gun. Just going to blow this off quick. All right, so I've got the surface nice and clean. Nothing else on here. All right, so first thing that I need to do in my epoxy steps, I need to put the eyes in. Okay, so we've got our cup of epoxy all nice and mixed up here. So we're going to grab a brush and here's our lure. We've got all the eyes partway screwed in. So we're just going to take this epoxy and we're going to paint these screw threads. Okay, and then we're just going to run those in. We'll straighten them out later by hand. Don't worry if you get runs in the epoxy because we're about to paint the whole thing anyway, so it'll be fine. Okay, and then we're just gonna take our pliers and finish these up, get them nice and straight. When you're straightening these out, you always want to tighten them a little bit more. Never back them out. So make sure that when you're tightening them up, you don't over tighten them. There we go. Those are all in line. So now we're going to head over to the lure turner. Now it's very important that if you got any epoxy on your glove from the previous step, let's put a new glove on. When you're holding onto this lip, you do not want to get epoxy on this lip, right? So now we're just going to take this E-Tex and we're going to start painting it on here. And you want to make sure you push really good to get that epoxy to adhere. If you just brush it, you're going to end up with fish eyes. Ask me how I know. Okay, so after you get all the epoxy on, just look it over good. If you've got any fish eyes starting, just brush at them really good with the brush. And don't worry about getting it perfectly smoothed out. That's what the lure turner is going to do. Just add a little bit more. I mean, it'll be loose, 
you know, if you if you hold the bait upright for a minute, you should see it start to run down, and that's fine, right? The lure turner is going to flatten all that out for you. So that looks good, so we're going to go ahead and put that on here. Okay. <clears throat> so there's a couple of them on there. So now we need to deal with any bubbles in the epoxy, right? And I do that with a torch. You do not, the idea here is not to heat the epoxy, okay? The idea is that burning of the fuel creates carbon dioxide, and the carbon dioxide breaks the surface tension of the epoxy, causing the bubbles to rise and thus pop. That's all you need to do. There's no need to actually heat it or try and burn it or do anything else. You're not trying to thin the epoxy out or do anything else. That's it. There they are. Five lures on the turner. So we'll see what we get. Thanks again for watching. And if you like it, down there is a like button. Over there will be the subscribe button. If you're not subscribed yet, my goal is to get one new subscriber with every video. So be my one if you're not yet. Thanks. See you next time.